guys, welcome back to my channel. And I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be stealing another YouTuber's art style. But I'm gonna do my own little kind of twist to it. Um, so basically, I have this here. And the YouTuber that I'm gonna be stealing from, as far as their art style goes, is Apple Mint. <laughs> okay. So you're probably wondering why I have this little package here. And basically, I was going through Apple Mint's little store on Etsy.com. You should definitely check her out. I will have a link to her store in the description below because she sells amazing little trinkets like enamel pins and other type of little charms along with her artwork on there. And she recently had a Kickstarter that included a pin that was just so cute and I had to have it. So I bought it and then when I received the package, I was like, gosh, this packaging is so cute with all the little bananas and stuff. And I just really wanted to show it off and I'm really excited to share it with you guys and show you what I got from her store. So it's kind of like an unboxing and I know this probably doesn't make sense to the video, but I promise it will in a second. <laughs> So let's go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh. A little tough to get open. <laughs> and so inside, oh, look at all the little goodies she gives. Oh, thank you so much for supporting me. And then you get this little apple mint piece of art with her peach fan art drawing. Oh, and all her information. So where you can find her apple mint on YouTube, Apple Mint on Instagram and applemint.com. And then, yay, look at this. So she did this little Kickstarter and this was one of the enamel pins on her Kickstarter. And I'm so glad it got funded enough for this to be sold in her Etsy shop because I saw it, I fell in love and I was just like, I need that. And even how she like describes how she came up with this is just so cute. She has like a lot of stuffed animals that she tends to stack littler, little, littler stuffed animals on top of each other. So she came up with this idea and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I bought it. So how does this play into stealing another YouTuber's art style? Well, usually in these types of videos, I've seen that uh, the artist making the video, will use their original character and then draw it in the style of the other YouTube artists. I'm gonna change that up and I'm going to go ahead and draw my own rendition of these three cute little chicks into cute little anime girls and I'm gonna do it in Apple Mint style. So let's get to it. And so I'm gonna leave the pen right there just for reference. the line art done and I think it looks pretty much like her style. I think the biggest thing that I focused on the most were the eyes. So the thing about Apple Mint's art style is that it is very anime and that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love it. And she has very distinct eyes in my opinion. Um, she does her eyelashes really nice and big and triangly and I love that. 
And then she does like these little pupils that kind of remind me of like cat eyes in, in a sense. And I really, really love that style. So I tried to focus as much as I could on the way she does her eyes. And I feel like I may have captured her style. I mean, it's so hard to capture anybody's style but your own, if we're being honest. And the only thing I mean about that is just, I think a lot of people put a lot of influence on the idea that you can be a thief if you copy someone's art style. And I think, I don't know, I don't feel like that is true because you can copy as much as you want somebody's art style, but some of you is always going to show through. And I know other artists believe in that too. I really believe in that. There are things like inspiration and influence that we do gather from other artists. So I feel like that shows a lot in my work. And so one thing about Applemint's style is her use of Copics. So she definitely works with a lot of alcohol markers. The most seems to be Copic though. So I went ahead and dug out all my Copics because I don't know exactly which colors I'm gonna use, but these are literally all the Copics that I own. These are the Sketch Copics and my Copic Chows. So I'm going to try and color like her too which I'm really nervous about because I only ever know how to color like myself. So <laughs> this should be interesting. To really capture her style, I visited her Instagram, which is Apple Mint with an extra I in the mint part. And I just looked at all the, all the pieces of art that she's ever done, and at least to her Instagram, and just basically studied the way that she did her hair, the way that she did her eyes, and things like that. And I highly recommend following her. I love all her art and everything she does. And I really just tried to follow the same sort of idea that she did her quack stack in. So I basically just imagined these three sisters and of course the oldest being on the bottom supporting her middle sister and then the middle sister holding the youngest sister and i thought that was generally pretty cool and that's basically just where i got the idea i didn't want to stray too much from the way that apple mint designed this sort of enamel so i wanted to keep that in there as well as the idea of some yellow so I put flower prints on their clothing, but kind of like summer daisies that are yellow and they keep that sort of summer kind of feeling because the quack, the quacks, <laughs> the ducks are yellow. So it gives off a very summery feeling to me. So I just wanted to represent that in their clothing. biggest differences between Apple Mint and my art style is the coloring of hair. She tends to do her highlights negatively on the hair and to me that's, I don't know what it is, but it's difficult for me. So what I do is I just like coloring in the entire hair with a very light color and then doing my hair strands with darker hair colors and then going in with a white gel pen and then doing highlights that way. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to do it any other way. So this is definitely a learning experience. Definitely the more that I color it, the more that I start to fall in love with it. Sometimes when I start a drawing, especially when it's a sketch, I just, I never know how I feel about it until I actually completely flesh it out and then I'm like, okay, I can see this coming together and I'm really liking it. Okay, I'm good. And it's definitely like a struggle sometimes making art, especially art that, you know, since I'm drawing this in a different style, 
I wasn't sure how it was turning out and I was not feeling confident, but the more that I color it, the more I really start to feel that confidence. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see that this is kind of reminiscent of Apple Mint style. All right, I, I, I think I'm nailing it. I don't know. <laughs> so it's definitely a relief when you start coloring it and you start getting, you know, towards the end and you're like, oh, good, it's turning out good. And that's how I'm feeling about this. And one of the things I was stressing about was sort of capturing the personalities. I really, you know, wanted to capture different personalities with these sisters in the sense of I didn't want them to all appear bland or blah. Um, Cause there's definitely a lot of dynamics that come along with being a sibling in general that I can personally relate to as far as the bottom sister being the one that's carrying the rest, you know? Usually that's how being the oldest sister sometimes works. You are pretty much the stand-in caretaker after the mom or whoever the regular caretaker is. And you're the one who's expected to do the most, and then you've got the middle child who kind of helps out, but is just meh. Nah. <laughs> and then the crazy wild child who's, you know, always just doing whatever she wants because she's the youngest and responsibility? What's that? What does that mean? And I can definitely relate to the youngest one as I am the youngest of three. If I could explain the background, I would, but honestly, I, I have no explanation. I'm not even sure why I went with this bubble effect. It just, it felt like a good idea at the time, but the execution was less than what I expected or I hoped for really. And I'm not even sure why I did it in the sense of like, I don't believe this is something Apple Mint would do, but I'm not fond of big open white spaces. So I always feel this need to put something in the background, whether it be like an abstract thing, such as these bubbles, or usually if you've seen any of my other videos, I just put a solid background of color and that's that. I try to keep it simple, but this felt more bubbly. And then last but not least, highlights. So she tends to do a star highlight in the eyes. Let's see if I can get that. And then she does a circle highlight, or like a dot highlight in the eyes as well, with a secondary one as well. And then she seems to put little highlights in various places like little three little dots. So I'm gonna do it in the youngest one's cheeks. Yay. And then on the hair as well. She also puts little eyelashes on the bottom lash. And that's that. I had way more fun with this than I thought I would. I thought I'd be super stressed drawing in someone else's style, but this was actually really fun and I really enjoyed myself. It was definitely a little challenging because I definitely had some doubts in some areas. And even though I feel like I did manage to capture her style, I definitely see myself coming through it as well. But I had a ton of fun and that's that. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.